be able to be versatile to play that many positions, um, you know, again, mentally and physically uh, is huge for us. Um, from the center spot to guard, uh, to tackle, uh, to do all those things and really do them well is huge. And it really helps the rest of the group because this week we did some things, uh, moving guys in different positions. Um, you know, he kind of sets, uh, you know, there's, there's a standard set by him in the fact that wanting competitive guys, the other guys you know, being competitive of having to play other positions as well. Um, you know, so putting a Zach Fulton in the tackle and just, you know, challenging him, hey, can you handle it? And, and knowing the way Zach would respond, he's had a good week at tackle. So that's been encouraging. Juwan James as well, playing him at left tackle. Marcus Jackson moving in at right guard. All those things uh, as we've moved forward in spring to make sure that um, any given scenario throughout the year can guys play different positions. But Alex Buller has been the one that's been able to set that standard for guys of being more flexible. When he's gone, do you think maybe Kyler stepping up into that role of being the utility guy perhaps? Uh, perhaps, you know, more of uh, just right now for him and down the road is – you know, he's, he's truly a, a guard type of body. Um, you know, could he have the ball in his hand? Possibly. But right now, he's got a lot on his plate in one position. So, it, you know, looking down the road, I would hope he can get to that. Can you talk to us a little bit about your guys came back physically this week after the scrimmage? Were you pleased with the way they responded? Were you, just, were you more physical in the scrimmage on Saturday than maybe initially the thought? Just kind of... Uh, no. Um, we, we uh, you know, as I... As I when it was, we went into the spring uh, scrimmage Saturday. Um, you know, again, physicality was first and foremost. Uh, it wasn't to where we want to be, uh, to where we're happy. Um, you know, there's uh, a number that we put on for guys having knockdowns uh, to get recognized for that award. We weren't even close to it. So, um, not pleased at all. Now, on the positive side, Tuesday, we came out and responded and had a better day. Um, again, with the thought in mind of guys playing different positions. And, uh, and I told them right before we hit the field, I didn't give them a chance to even think about it, not the night before. I'm talking as the meeting ended, addressing the problems we had in our scrimmage, addressing the fact that we're not pleased with uh, the physicality and where we're at and going out in the field. I thought the guys responded to that. Um, and yesterday was one of our, I'm sorry, uh, Tuesday's practice was one of our more physical practice where actually some bodies went to the ground, so that was encouraging. So you told Zach that you're going to tackle as you went to the practice field? As we broke the meeting, and this goes back to the Navy SEALs, uh, to where we had the Navy SEALs at the last place we were at, where you know we never want our players to know what's next. We want, we want the unknown. We can go out and have an hour practice. They don't know. We can go out and have a two and a half hour practice. They don't know. You know, it, it's become where in some some places that guys come from or different things and so forth of programs where, hey, we're going to do this today, this today, this today. We want the unknown. So part of me wanted me the night before to say, hey, you ready to go to right tackle? And I said, you know what? No, I want to see how they respond to it. So as we were leaving the meeting, I said, Zach, you're going to right. Juwan, you're going to left. Marcus, you're going to right guard. Alex, you're going to left guard. Let's go. And by the way, Alex and uh, James, you're going to switch up at center. So as they're leaving the meeting, I wanted that process. I wanted as they hit the field that, you know, I could see that sense of urgency by their, 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 their body language and those type of things that as much as we can create the unknown. Because football is a game of situations. Every series of plays, it's a game of situations. Sun change, where are we at on the field, what's the down and distance. It's constantly training the mind that Coach Jones preaches that uh, mentally and physically we've got to be stronger and it's all part of the process. So. That was encouraging, and I, you know, and I, I really expected that from them. I want guys that, um, you know, if, if I tell a guy, hey, I want you to go to center and put the ball in your hand, I want to see a guy that attacks it. And, and I think it says a lot, and we have that in this group. Um, has it been exactly to what we like right now? No, but we're making some strides, and the guys are working at it. It's physical Saturday, is that, is that again, priority one? I'm sure it's priority every every sure. scrimmage, but is it is, your it, biggest focus? It's, yeah, and, and again, it's a killer instinct. It's a finish, a finish mentality, a finish and walks off. As I mentioned uh, before, you know, knockdowns and those, those type of things occur with extra effort through great strain um, and through just the mentality of wanting to really 
physically take a will away from somebody. And, and we need more of that. I've been working to demand more of that. We need to see more of it. And, and video evidence, as Coach Jones says, we need video evidence of guys and rewarding guys for that. And that's the fun part of it is just is, is, is rewarding guys and recognizing that and, and, and making it something where it, 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 we want it to become contagious. And again, it's an effort. It's, it's, it's all out effort. Every single play, their mentality and those type of things. But definitely physicality, again. And with the fact that some guys are playing some different positions as well. So that's going to be interesting to see. So you will scrimmage them? Absolutely. Yeah, you Absolutely. You may play Zach at tackle. You'll mess, you'll mess with the lineup quite a bit on Saturday? Uh, not necessarily just, you know, this, you know, there's a certain goal for us as a team and then unit-wise what we want to get accomplished or things that we got to come out of spring saying, okay, here's where we're at with given positions. Last week, Alex Bullard played tackle the entire week without shuffling too much of the lineup to try to, um, to, try to get some of the continuity you're always searching for. This week, in fairness to Alex, we're really in a guard position is where he is more productive was really for him to focus on. So with that being said, there's where the other positions of some guys shuffling that need to happen, which was good because, again, finding out exactly where Juwan is, where uh, uh, Zach is at those particular positions, I think was good for all, for both the tackles and for Alex.